Hey, this is Ken, a product specialist down here at Camping World of Asheville, and I'm going to take you on a video tour of this amazing camper right here. This is the Thor Motor Coach Axis 25.7, and this is actually a Class A motor coach, but it's on a Class C chassis, so you get the best of both worlds. What makes that really cool is, is that it's not as big and huge as a Class A, so it's easier to drive, more comfortable to drive. This camper being on a Class C chassis, but having a Class A front end, those nice big open windows where you can see out of everything, but it's just not as large as say a Class A, so anybody should be comfortable driving it because it drives more like a Class B van. So you get the advantages and the best of both worlds. So why don't we jump inside and take a look. In keeping with the tradition of a Class A, your front end feels just like a Class A. You've got your swivel chairs, got a table here in between that you can play cards on or whatever, or you can swivel around, watch TV right over there. You've got the uh, fold out pad right here that comes right out so your passenger can work on their computer or anything like that. So the whole front end, of course, all these windows and a window shade right up here feels like a Class A. Right, so let's take this table out right here and I'll show you that the front end is just like in a Class C. I mean, you got, you got your captain's chairs like a Class A, but your dials, everything up here, your radio and all that kind of stuff is going to be just like a Class C. Nice, comfortable way to drive. Here, we'll start her up right quick. Got that good old Ford V8 motor in the front. The exact same as an Econoline 350 or an Econoline 450. So everything looks the same and it just drives so much easier than the bus. Just like a Class A, you have a bed that comes down from the top right here. So if you have some uh, grandkids or whatever that are staying with you, you got plenty of space for them up here. And it's like a Class C because Class C's have beds up over the cab of the car as well. But like I said, you get the best of both worlds. There's a bed and it moves up into the ceiling so you can still take advantage of all those windows out there. Now on this guy, you've only got one slide, but there's a lot of things packed into this one slide. You got your jackknife sofa right here. This is so in case you have somebody else that wants to sleep down here instead of up there. And of course you got seat belts in here. There are seat belts up under here, right here. So, and storage as well. So somebody could sit here while we're riding down the road and that sort of thing. You got two cabinets right up here. Oh, and they have USB ports as well. Then there's a couple of spaces right here in the floor. So you can put posts in and put a whole another table right down there. Oh, it's got cup holders and everything. And this guy with the poles fit right here, right behind on this little place right here. That's where that goes. And of course, in the slide, storage is at a minimum. So we need more storage, more storage, more storage. So you got a wardrobe right here inside this cabinet. This has your telescoping ladder that goes with that bed. You also have the, the posts that go there on the floor. And of course, one, two, three, four drawers right there. And they're on metal slides right here with ball bearings. They move out very smoothly. And then of course, not only do you have that wardrobe, you have one more wardrobe. So there's two wardrobes in here with the same amount of drawers. Again, nice pull-out drawers. So in essence, you have a double closet right here. Opposite of that slide out right here is your kitchen area. And you'll notice this nice big wide space here in the middle to walk around. This guy comes with a uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator that has a refrigerator and freezer right up here. Very deep freezer. I could stick my whole arm in there. Now let's tell you a little bit about the uh, kitchen side here. You've got a Dometic range right here, two eyes, works off of your LP gas. And of course, if you, if you need more space to do prep work, you've got a convection 
oven, convection, and microwave together. And then, of course, you've got more of those drawers. Very nice sliding drawers right here. Four of them. And this is what I like, LED lights that light up right up under this seamless countertop right here with the uh, inlay sink so it doesn't leak. Nice stainless steel sink. Gooseneck faucet with a hose on the inside. How about that? And, of course, if you need more space, you got this little little pull-up table right here on the end for the coffee maker if you need it. Let me get that up. I'm always having trouble when, it, when I'm coming to demonstrate stuff. So, how about that? Another blooper just for the blooper reel. But you know what? I'm going to leave this one in. And then, of course, you've got another cabinet right up under here for your garbage can right up under there. And what I really like is, look at these LED lights. you got them across here. Got them across the top right here. Four cabinets right up here for more storage space, food, that sort of thing. Got your TV right over here. Now look at these. they got very nice, beautiful window treatments right here. Double cloth with a little bit of leather inlay right there. Nice big window to see out. And of course, in your countertop, if you need more outlets, you got more outlets. There's ones under here. There's outlets over here, USBs as well. Very nice area for your kitchen. I was talking about the versatility of this Axis being like a Class C chassis, but a Class A motorhome, but not as big and bulky as a Class A. It also has versatility back here in the back. Look at this. This is almost like the back garage of a toy hauler. Look, it's got the tie downs right here on both sides. And it's got a door that swings out in the back right here. How about that little screen that comes down right there? So you can put things in here like bicycles, electric bikes, maybe even a motorcycle could fit back here. How about that? Very versatile. So now we've gone from having the best of both worlds in a Class A and a Class C, and now we've got the best of both worlds back here. And right next to that bed that flops right down just like that into that cargo area, you've got another wardrobe. I've already showed you two wardrobes. This is wardrobe number three. How about that? You have got lots of hanging space inside this camper and two more pull-out drawers right there. So you have got plenty of storage space inside this camper. Now let's check out the bathroom and show you what we have inside here. There's your toilet right there and it is a porcelain toilet. How about that? Got you a medicine cabinet right here in the corner that we can open up and you can see right there inside the medicine cabinet. And of course you've got a stainless steel faucet and sink right here. Stainless steel. Very nice little place right up under the sink right there for you. And then back here in the back here is your full size walk-in shower right here with your skylight right up at the top so you can soap up your head without having to bend down. And of course, this guy has the water miser. So what that means is, is that when you first turn it on, water is always cold. So we want to keep that uh, hot water heater going, So, but we don't want to waste the water. So we wait till this turns red. And that means you've got hot water instantly coming out of your shower fixture. Here we are up front, and I know it looks big in the video, but it really isn't all that big up here in the front. Those nice big windshield and windows right there. Because I want to show you right here, here are the tires. And these are 225, 75, 16 inch tires. So they're only 16 inch tires. So this guy is low to the ground, and he's not really that big now let's go through some of the storage here check it out you've got these storage bins right here and these are plastic storage bins with a little drain hole they will never rust how about that and of course this guy is equipped with more ride and what that means is is that the cross members underneath have neoprene covers on them so it doesn't rattle and shake as you're going down the road gives you a nice soft ride here's another one of those storage bins right there you do have LP gas tank. How about that? And of course, dual wheels here in the back. 
Then you got your hot water heater right there. Another little storage bin right here. And each one of these does have motion sensor lights on them when you open them up. Some more storage right back here. And here's your command center right here. Everything is push button and I just wanted to show you the awning right quick. Check it out. You got this beautiful scissor jack awning right here. The scissor arm awning that scissors it out so you don't have anything to knock your head on as you're walking underneath. And of course, You've got all of that beautiful space up there to get out of the sun, to get out of the rain. Back here in the back, there is your backup camera right there. And now I'm gonna show you that back door right there. The bed is down, but it's a nice big back door. It has a screen that comes down so you could leave it open while you sleep. That would be pretty cool. And of course you've got room to put your bicycles, whatever you need to put inside, maybe even a motorcycle. So let me close that guy up right there and show you that it is a walkable roof for your ladder right there. And I'm gonna show you, it also has a hitch right down here that has your hookup right here, your seven way hookup. This is a 5,000 pound rating with a uh, 500 pound tongue rating on that. Now I'm gonna go down the non camp side of the camper, show you a few things over here, like an outdoor shower. How about that? You've got all your water connections and everything and your hookups. Right over here, there's that slide out. Underneath the slide out, of course you have an onboard generator. Gotta have that generator right there so you'll never be without power. And of course, it's outfitted with all frameless tinted windows. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's in this guy right here. Open this guy up right here. More storage, another motion sensor light, another plug to get the water out of. And it's plastic, so it's not going to rust and you have a slide topper also keeping everything protected come on down here to camping world of Asheville. come see me ken and we'll take a test drive and like i said anybody anybody that's ever been scared of driving anything larger than say a pickup truck or whatever please come down here and test drive this vehicle you will be impressed it is easy peasy lemon squeezy Come on down here and see me at Camping World of Asheville.